We performed this study because we wanted to provide some balanced input to the funding of a number of trials examining uh, whether or not uh, stored blood, um, longer stored blood that is, uh, is as good as fresh blood. And there's many ways to pop that question. Um, the dominant way that question has been examined uh, in wealthy nations has been whether or not long stored blood is actually hurting people. We decided to ask the converse. We decided to ask whether or not long stored blood works as well as uh, fresh blood. Uh, and the question of whether or not blood works uh, requires someone to actually need it. And that was the other gap in the industrialized world. Many transfusions are given to patients who don't necessarily yet need them. We're trying to stall the effect that anemia may have by preventing it altogether. Uh, and so this constrained us in terms of what clinical environment we could actually look at. And we do know that profound anemia uh, occurs in less developed countries for a number of reasons. You have malaria, uh, less nutrition. Uh, and so we understood that there would be a higher likelihood of getting people coming in so profoundly anemic that proof of their inadequate oxygen carrying capacity, not having enough hemoglobin, would be evidence in them going into anaerobic glycolysis, i.e lactic acid building up in their bloodstream with their profound anemia, proving just how bad it was. And so if you wanted to prove that blood actually works and delivers oxygen, um, it would be desirable to look at patients who truly need rather than uh, would be luxuriously bettered by blood and to see if the proof of their desperation for that blood need is addressed by the clearance of the lactate that they've built up. Uh, and so we looked at these severely anemic children who clearly had a need for blood, whose hemoglobins clearly increased with transfusion, and whose lactic acid buildups were dissipated successfully. We were looking at the comparative rate of that success with fresh versus long stored blood. And the results of this was that there was really no evidence of any inferior delivery from longer stored blood, even though uh, there's been other kinds of evidence suggesting that the longer you store something, the worse it is. The more likely it may uh, produce harm or simply not function as well as it should. Uh, and so we were um, happily surprised and delighted by the results because the implications are global uh, in terms of policy uh, and in terms of clinical outcomes for regions that don't have enough of a blood supply, um, which would be threatened to be even more limited if we started dialing back the limits of storage time. What this research really tells us all is that we can defend traditional storage limits and that we need not be as worried um, about harm at those ends as we used to be before, based on some preliminary evidence that had emerged. So the pediatric population is an important population because they wouldn't have as many of the conditions that we would see in the industrialized world that could also be producing high lactate levels. You have a healthy cardiovascular system that's capable of adapting well to anemia and can tolerate greater severities of anemia. Um, you don't have atherosclerosis and areas of flow limitation from plaque related infarction. And so we have a pure population. Um, that you can more easily uh, rule out alternative causes of high lactate. It was a way to really get a pure anemia-dependent hyperlactatemia without getting confounders. There's many other ways to be sick to have high lactate levels, so it really purified the field, and it, it removed all the other issues that people might have with why um, blood wasn't working so well. to not fret about longer stored blood uh, within our currently defined expiry limits. Uh, I think this is very important. I mean, if, if I myself was a patient receiving transfusion, I think there's been enough anxiety generated in the, in the press and, and through scientific literature that fresher is better. And I would wonder if, if my care was compromised if I was getting an older unit. I sincerely believe that it's not. Uh, and I think that patients um, and clinicians and blood bankers will be delighted to know that, that we need not worry about cutting our storage times shorter.